12 days of Lismas so far. Today, we are tackling this mess of a pantry. I don't know what it is, but something about the holiday season makes me feel like I need to get my life together. So I've been doing a lot of like little cleaning projects here and there, and so I figured we would go ahead and tackle this pantry together. It is a hot mess, and it's kind of just been accumulating things. There's like cleaning stuff, there's stuff for her. She actually, you know what? Let me go and give y'all like a tour of my pantry currently. Please no judgment. So yeah, this is the state of my pantry up close and personal. Nothing is organized. I have none of those fancy cute containers. I did buy them though, so we'll go through some of that in this video. I mean, what is going on on the floor here? And then on this side, we've got Hershey's food. This is kind of like Hershey's little mini section here. Her food bowls, her toys, her like sweaters. <laughs> And these are her treats, her poop bags, then mixed in with some like seasonings and spices and sauces and just extra leftover groceries that we have no more space for. Then up here we have paper towel and toilet paper. I have a coffee machine that I take out whenever my parents come to town. My dad really loves coffee so I just, I don't drink coffee so it kind of sits up here um, until whenever they visit. Um, but yeah, I mean light bulbs like, <laughs> There's just a little bit of everything in here, which is why it needs the proper organization. So we can figure everything out in a good system that's gonna keep it organized and just keep me happy. I literally cannot live like this anymore. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. I did do a little bit of shopping though. Of course, when it comes to organization, you need to grab the containers, the things to help you really get organized. So let me show you some stuff that I got. So this is a spice rack that I got from Amazon. I love this. I actually use this in my cabinet over there for my regular spices. I noticed that I do have a lot of spices though, like hot sauces, seasoning, like, I'm a Caribbean girl, that's just how, it's just the way it is, okay? So in order to keep it like nice and organized in here, I got these spice racks, which are great. So it's like, you can extend it out as far as you need it, or if you don't want it to take up too much space, you can like make it smaller, you see what I mean? Like it's just really nice. I also went to Target, so first of all, can we talk about how expensive these are on Amazon? It's crazy, do not buy um, clear plastic storage bins on Amazon. Don't do it to yourself because I don't know why, it's just crazy overpriced on there. So I got these for a pretty good price. Actually, I'm gonna check my phone to make sure I'm telling you guys the right price that I paid for it. Okay, here we go. So for this, one big one with a lid was 13 bucks. I swear if you look on Amazon, there's nothing under 20 and it can go up to like 50 bucks for like something like this. Crazy! And then I also got this one with Hershey's stuff in mind. She needed a deeper and like bigger storage bin because there's just so much stuff that I get for her. Um, so I got this for a whopping four bucks. No lid, but I figured I didn't really need it just for what I'm using this for. And then I got some of these little ones just because I thought it could be helpful to kind of like just put stuff in it and make it look a little bit more neat and stuff. These were 150 each. I probably should have gotten more, but this is what I wanted to start out with. If by the end of today I feel like I need more, we can always just roll up to Target and grab some more, but I didn't like want to overdo it, so. What I did get from Amazon are those plastic um, airtight food storage containers. Woohoo! I think I'm mostly excited about this. Let me tell you how much I paid for this, y'all. 50 bucks. Some of them can go up to like over $100 sometimes, so I was pretty happy with this. There are a ton of other kits that have like 56 and like just tons if you have like a bigger pantry. My pantry, pretty small, cute, so. 24, I'm hoping we'll do the trick. So these are the main things that I have. Was there anything else that I got? No, I think it was just these things. So it's really just gonna be kind of organizing in these containers and stuff. And then also just cleaning stuff out, getting rid of it. I am just very much in that mood. I don't know what it is, but I'm in that mood. All right, so I'm starting from the bottom, like from the floor level first, and I'm just taking everything out. It's gonna make it a lot easier once this floor part is nice and clean and organized before I tackle the actual shelves. So I'm just taking everything out, vacuuming a little bit, and actually checking out what I actually have in here because it's such a mess, I don't even know what is in here. All right, so here's what we got. I've got a bunch of bags of a bunch of bags. Like, 
why does anybody else do this in their household like do you collect bags i truly feel like this is a caribbean thing like you get a nice bag you just can't throw it away you save it just in case you need to use it for something else another day <laughs> yeah it's crazy right hirsch it's crazy like what why anyways this is why i got the big container So now it's time to tackle the shelves. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and take everything off of the shelves and just stick it on this counter and then we'll organize everything right here. As I'm taking everything out, I'm also going to group everything on the counter. So food items, um, water, Hershey's stuff. I'm just gonna make sure to keep them all like organized here which will just make it easier to continue organizing and then putting them back where they belong <gasps> all of Hershey's cute little sweaters Ugh, I don't even know do I keep these down here or what I don't know but I cannot wait to put her in cleaned out I think the next thing I want to do is actually take out these food storage containers I need to wash them I should have probably washed them before I took out all the stuff all right so I just went through and washed out all of the containers I actually didn't sit down and think through how time consuming this would be so I would suggest if you're doing like a pantry organization like this definitely do this the night before maybe even stick them in the dishwasher because this is super time consuming to have to wash them and hand dry them <laughs> i have to make sure they're super super dry because we're going to be doing like flour and all that kind of stuff in here so they need to be dry dry so yeah i would suggest not doing it this way and just maybe running it in your dishwasher the night before you decide to do your pantry organization the thing I also like a lot about this set is that it came with these black little stickers and a white marker. So I can write down the things. I've seen people who do the ones where it's like typed out, probably gonna be a little bit neater than my handwriting. Might be something that I consider in the future, but for now, this is so nice and so cute. I'm very, very excited. So let's start filling these bad boys. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work, but behind this door is a clean and organized pantry. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Let's do this. slash closet that I have on the downstairs level which is why you see like the vacuum the broom the mop and all that kind of stuff it's a very multi-purpose closet and I think we did a great job of kind of saving space making it organized and nice and neat and I am very happy and very satisfied and now I feel like I deserve the rest of the day off <laughs> because this was a project you know what's great we did all of this under a hundred dollars so including everything all the storage containers and everything that we purchased 
under $100. I love that for us. I love that. But yeah, I'm super happy with it, super excited. It just like, these are the things that make me so happy. I'm literally turning into my mom. Is that what happens? Like, once you like start getting close to 30, you start turning into your mom, it's crazy. Cause my mom is literally like this. And she's been texting me like, oh my God, I'm very excited. Show me the final results. So I'm about to actually video chat her right now. <laughs> but yeah guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me as I organize my pantry. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me, um, for anything that you saw in the pantry. I'm open to hearing all of your comments. And also if you have any other further questions, uh, let me know. As usual, everything that I did mention and purchase will be linked in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out as well. But yeah guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I will catch you guys tomorrow for the next day of Listmas. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.